what's up y'all and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to do some work yeah we're headed to the river we're fixing to go over here and build a duck blind at a place that I've I've hunted a few times it's not it's not a hot hole but it's, it's a pretty good spot when the conditions are right when the weather is right and we have some birds it can be a pretty good hole so we're going to build a blind today. We got the boat hooked up behind the truck, obviously. We got the boat loaded down with our materials, and we are headed to the boat ramp. So, that's what we do today, boys. So, y'all come on and go with us. All right, guys. So, I'm out here at the spot, and I'll show you what I've done at this point. Now, the way I typically build a duck blind is I do one thing first. I just build a simple little bench just to sit on. I don't go all out with it, you know, building it like a little hut or a fort or <laughs> whatever you want to call it with a top and all that because if it don't work out and I find a better spot, I can take it down and move it pretty quick. It's very mobile. So here's what I've done so far. I've just built a simple bench. It's very simple. I don't worry about getting nothing level. I don't worry about getting nothing square. I just put it up, and there it is. Uh, <clears throat> I can guess I got one side lower because I have a six-year-old who hunts with me, and so I always make one side lower than the other so that he doesn't have trouble sitting down. I'll sit on the high side. He'll sit on the low side. <clears throat> but, yep, and right now it's perfect. We're sitting here, and... uh now what I've got to do is I've got to set my corner posts and what I'll do with that is I've got these posts here and I have I have some of them I've pieced together with some old boards and whatnot but I've, I've got them cut at an angle on the end and I'll I'll take my little four pound beater there and I'll beat it into the mud and I'll take this cattle panel or bull wire hog wire a lot of people somebody everybody calls it something different I put one across the front and I'll do one across the back and that's what I will begin to that's how I'll attach my brush and weave my brush into it but uh I would show you a picture of the hole I would kind of span the camera across there but you know people always trying to figure out what you're hunting so if you show them a little bit they'll do best they can to try to figure out where you are so I'm not gonna do that right now uh, but anyway yeah that's where we're at so far I'm fixing to set these corners and get this wire put up and I'll tune y'all back in when we get to that point so you can kind of see you know what I'm what I'm working with here if you don't understand already all right so I've got the bench done and I got my wire put up. Now, like I said, this thing ain't pretty. It ain't pretty at all. But I don't want it to be pretty. I don't care if it's pretty or if it ain't pretty. So, let me show you what I got done so far at this point. See, we just got our bench and I got some wire stuck up. Now, the wire in the back is really kind of obsolete. I mean, we got plenty of cover behind us still gonna stack some stuff up there and brush it but that's mainly to hang our bags and that type thing on the front is for tying and hook and brush so what I'm fixing to do now so what I'm fixing to start doing now is I'm gonna start cutting some brush and brushing in the blind and uh, we may have to come back and add some more brush as season gets closer but you know we gotta let all the foliage and stuff die and, and all that so we'll we'll probably have to come back and do this again but we gotta we gotta start putting some brush on there gotta do that right now so that's what I'm fishing to do now well well I'll tell you this this little place I'm at is slam full of bald cypress trees and maples Neither one are very good duck blind brushing trees. Uh, some willows would be good, but they ain't got no willows. So I'm just cutting as much as I can of these little maple trees, cutting limbs off of them, brushing with them right now. 
and kind of just roaming this area trying to find something better than that to brush with. I'm not having much luck, but I got a weapon in hand. I got a gun sitting over there at the blind, but I can't tote that and the camera at the same time. So I got this because I need this to cut brush with. And this right here will keep me, keep predators away. Down here in the south, you got to be, you got to be on the lookout for everything. Walking through here, we got cypress knees, you trip and fall, hurt yourself on that. Not to mention, not to mention cotton mouse, rattlesnakes, alligators, Bigfoot, wampus cats, we got them all. So, always go to the woods with a weapon. And uh, surprisingly, I have not seen anything. I really, really expected to have at least gotten on at least one or two cotton mouse at this point. But I hadn't. That's a plus. But, you know, I really ain't looking. I really ain't looking. I really ain't paying that much attention. And, I, and I've kind of learned over the years, that's just the best thing to do. Just just do what you do and don't worry about it. If you start looking for them, you'll find them. So, just, just go on about your business and don't worry about it. It's kind of what I do. But, yep. So far, not very good brushing trees here. I mean, you can see this is swamp land for the most part. I mean, it's cypress knees everywhere. I mean, everywhere you go, you'll be tripping, falling down over this type of stuff. You really got to be careful. Trash everywhere because the river gets up in here. But it's not very good. Not very good stuff here for duck blind brushing so like I said I would really like to have some willows but I can't find no willows ain't no willows over here ain't nothing but bald cypress trees and maple trees a few oaks That's about it so I'm gonna keep scrounging around see what else I can find I have cut a good bit of maple and I've got around the front of the blind I'm gonna cut some more and add to it and uh, so I'm starting to wonder if I'm probably just going to have to wait a few weeks and uh, let this foliage die on the brush I've cut and just run up down the river. I know where some, where some willows are and some canes and that kind of thing I can cut and brush with. So I may just have to just come spend a day brushing the blind. So, and I do that when I got Kay with me when I got some help. But, yep. That'll probably be all I do today. Get a get a good bit of brush around the front using those maples, and uh, that'll probably be it for the day. And uh, I'll come back and spend the whole day brushing, cutting some willows and canes from another spot, and just bringing them over here. But so far, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it at this point, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut some more brush and we'll we'll see what she looks like here in just a little bit. All right, well I got the rest of the maples added to the blind. It don't look great, but it's got a little bit of brush on it. I just ain't got good brushing material. Yeah, I could keep cutting these maples and whatnot, but they just don't have, when they lose their leaves, they're just gonna be sticks. So I need to get something that's a lot thicker, a lot bushier of a tree. So maples is not the best option. But I'm gonna give you a shot of the blind, what it looks like right now. I don't see the need to keep working myself to death cutting maples when I know that's not going to be a good brush option. So let me show you what the blind looks like at this point. Here it is. You can see it. It's right there. If you look right in there, you can kind of see the wire. So like I said, it's not, it's not beautiful right now, but it's a start. But I'm going to have to come back. I got to get some better, better brush. That maple, I mean, you can see it just... Those leaves are gonna fall off there. I need a bushy, bushy style tree or some of those, you know, bamboo style canes. It's great brushing material. And I know where a bunch of that stuff is. I really don't have time to do it today because it's uh, almost lunchtime now and I got a few things I gotta do before it gets too late in the evening. But, so I'll spend the day just running up down the river, cutting lots of brush and bring it over here and brush it in. It won't take long to do it. 
not that big of a blind but uh hope y'all enjoyed today's video i know it's kind of off the wall a little something different but i uh, just kind of want to briefly walk you through this process of how i make a a duck blind something that can be taken down and moved very easily and very quickly and uh, like i said i assemble most of it at the house and then all you gotta do is pretty much come out here and set your your end pieces for your bench and then screw your planks to it for your actual seat so it's not that big a deal something you can put together at home bring out here and assemble and same way we're taking it apart if you don't you know the spot don't work out and you find a better spot you can take it apart pretty quick and you know take it somewhere else and reassemble it very quick and very easily so that's all i got for you today guys so until next time y'all bust them up